Hello everybody, today's video will cover Blender and UDK units, scale and origin points. That way we can import and export out predictable results where your mesh is not too large or too small uh, into UDK. I'm going to start inside of Blender with my static mesh that is already UV unwrapped and it has the materials applied and all of the requirements for the ASCII scene export script uh, are already taken care of. I'm going to open up my display panel by pressing N and looking at my settings down here. I have my line set to 16, my scale set to 1, and my subdivision set to 8. The ASCII scene export script by default exports out uh, at a 16 scale. So what that means is that every unit will be scaled 16 times. So this will equal out to uh, 16 units inside of UDK. And with this current setup, the 16 units is equal to one foot. One human model, such as this guy right here, is 96 units tall, which will equal out to six feet. Going back into Blender, you'll see that one unit is this block right here. So this model is two feet tall, or 32 units inside of UDK. Remember that the uh, ASC export script will multiply each unit by 16. We have two units, so that's 2 times 16, which will be 32 units, or 2 feet inside of UDK. So to demonstrate this, I will export this model out, export, ASC, and I will drop it to my desktop with the name 2u.asc, as in two units. I'm going to export, and then I'm going to open my contact content browser inside of UDK. I'm going to import, get the model off of my desktop. Go to my package and I'm going to drop this right into the scene. Now you'll also notice that the object is imported at its origin. If I open up Blender, this little orange circle is the origin point for this mesh. And so back into UDK. I'm going to line this up with the floor. I'm going to bring it a little bit closer to my human model. I'm going to duplicate it a couple times. Each time I duplicate it, it will be another two feet. Remember, this model is two feet tall, so that means I need three duplications in order to make it six feet tall or equal out to uh, this model over here. Now this guy looks to be a little bit smaller than six feet tall, which is still not a problem. But by having this two units in Blender and then 32 units inside of UDK, we have the 32 from here, 64 with these two, and 96 down here. Going back inside of Blender, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change my origin point by selecting all of the faces, grabbing along the z-axis, and putting that origin point at the bottom of my mesh. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale this up along the z-axis, six units. Let me change this down here. This 3D cursor. Scale along the z-axis, six units tall. That way it will equal out to six feet inside of uh, UDK. So remember, it will take the units one, two, three, four, five, and six. File export ASC. Multiply it by 16 times down here, which will equal out to 96 units inside of UDK. And this will be named 6u.asc. Export that out. Open my content browser. Import on my desktop, bring in 6u.asc, six units. Go to my package, and we are going to drop this right into the world. And you'll also notice that when I drop this, it's going to drop it in at its origin point, which was set to be the bottom of the mesh. So that way it's no longer being imported in halfway down, but it's it's the correct way that I, that I want it. That'll be useful for importing in buildings or uh, any type of static mesh that doesn't have moving parts that uh, you want to be uh, set up so that when you bring it in, it's auto automatically floored. 
and you'll see that it is 96 units tall or six feet equal to the three blocks that are two feet tall over here. So that's the basics of uh, origin, scale, and units from Blender into UDK. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. I'll try to have more videos out uh, in the future. Thanks, everybody. See you.